U.S. President Donald Trump will be landing in South Korea for the second leg of his 12-day Asia tour right after wrapping up some constructive talks in Japan, which was banking on U.S. support to tackle North Korea's nuclear threats and also aggression in terms of its ballistic missile program. But South Korea will be a completely a different ballgame altogether for Donald Trump because of the protests that have already broken out in anticipation of Donald Trump's visit. The demonstrators are demanding peace talks with North Korea and an end to South Korea's military exercises with the United States. And also just a day before Trump's visit, South Korea has imposed unilateral sanctions on 18 North Korea. Korean individuals barring any financial transactions between those sanctioned and any South Koreans. Now, all 18 North Korean individuals were directly affiliated to the North Korean banks and according to an official government announcement by the finance minister. We urge U.S. President Donald Trump to solve issues on the Korean Peninsula by halting the South Korean-U.S. joint military drills and making North Korea stop further development of its nuclear and missile program through dialogue and negotiation, not sanctions or pressure. Now, Trump's resolve to work it out with South Korea, however, remains strong. He said on Twitter, and I quote, Getting ready to leave for South Korea and meetings with President Moon Jae-in, a fine gentleman, will figure it all out. This is what Donald Trump has tweeted just before he has left for South Korea. Meanwhile, China, which is Trump's next stop after South Korea on his marathon trip, has called for all sides to come together over the North Korean issue. The we